showing you how to make your own little character in paint.net and Roblox Studio. So first thing you want to get your profile and go into Roblox Studio. By the way, here's an example. And once it loads, you want to go new, base plate, click on it, wait for it to open. You can look around, nothing really there. Click on the little arrow next to the explorer and the work. Um, click on the arrow next to workspace and explorer. To get that up, you need to go view and you click explorer properties and you also want um, toolbox. So you want to go here, click on this, right click on base plate and click delete and then get the plugin load character put a link in the description and put your name in there and load it in if it has an nao that's all right still load in your normal character and then get a nice angle on it click on it well him or her and Delete the humanoid root part by clicking backspace. Left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg, torso, humanoid, and click on the arrow next to head and delete the thing saying face. And now if you click on head here, right click it and click, where is it? Zoom to, you can get close to it zoom out and get a nice angle Ooh, angle hold down shift and yeah go into the toolbox and search for green screen see and grab one of those flat ones like the ones that don't have any boxes around them and click on it and then the whole background set get a good angle on it so you can use it it doesn't really matter because you can crop it anyways when you've done um, once you've done that you can go into a little window search and search up snipping tool open it up click new and then um, get a good snip on it and then you can click save and once you've got the good crop on it like that actually i'll make it a bit bigger so you can click new if you didn't have it right and get it like that click file save as and save to like your desktop um and call it whatever you want i'm just going to call it and make sure you save it as a PNG or a photographic file. Click save. Uh, I'm going to call it Capture 2 because I've done this before. Click save and then open. Uh, you can open paint.net and drag it into the photo click open okay now that you got this you can go around it with the line tool until you get it just right and you can see because you have to click a new layer and every time you want to see your lines you can click the little tick there make sure you have layer 2 selected when you're drawing and I'll see you when i've finished um finished tracing or whatever
Okay, so once you've done that, it should look like this and you've got your arrows around it. You can click on the background layer, this little box, and you can untick it and click with this button. Get this whole thing around and click Control C. And now you can go to the little new thing and type in 500 by 500 and if it keeps changing while you write it uncheck this maintain aspect radio ratio box and it should work now you can choose the background you want I'm just use like a greeny color for this one make sure there's a darker version of it because we're going to need one I'm just get like a really light green there and you can click the little paint button tool and fill it in and it should look like that and then create a new layer and click control v and your thing should come up you don't need to resize it to the whole thing just do it so it's right in the middle okay so now that you've done that you can click the paint tool again and you can color it to what color you want it's like the hair and if it does that you can zoom in and see where it's not connected see since I did mine really quickly um, it's not exactly that perfect there's little bits that kind of poke out and that should work there we go and then if I zoom out again you can find a little like skin colory oh keep that on black and you can click enter on your keyboard and then now find and just put in a random color there and find like a skin color tone like there or whatever and then click enter again and now you have this but you also want a shadow so you can keep it on this layer get the line tool and find like a re darker version of your color And if there isn't one, because you did it a little bit before me, you can click more and then find, change the little green thing or whatever color. You can go to the very corner there and click enter first. Oh, done it. Enter. And you can get to the very and and click like that try get it kind of good and find up here to where the top of yours is and it, it took me a while with this hair to get a perfect shadow see it kind of looks a bit weird but i'm just going to keep it it's the first one i did and you can click with the paint go with the paint thing and fill it in and it should look something like this you can like even if you want you can go like like have it so it kind of goes up a bit more until there and then fill in again wrong thing also you can click control z or this button to go back if you haven't figured that out already <laughs> and should look something like this when you finished uh mine's not exactly perfect but yeah and once you finish, you can click File, Save As, and save it where you want to. For me, I'm going to save it there. And you can go to whatever you want. Make sure it's not PDN, though. I'd recommend PNG, because that's the one you saved it as. It won't. And then click Save. And OK and flatten and now it's all one photo and you can't go back unless you go change the flatten thing by clicking here now you can close out of this and close out of this too you don't need to save it and that's how you make 
little icon for YouTube. Okay. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.